Chapter 6. Ready, steady, go. White Foxface entered the palace, one of the three great forbidden fortresses, along with City of the Peerless, where the world number two resided, and Wu's Shrine of Swords. City of the Peerless had an old freak who belittled all the world's masters. Wu's Shrine of Swords housed a large horde of wizened swordsmen who spent all their lives honing their sword skills. Whereas Northern Liang Palace, aside from being guarded by the Northern Liang Iron Cavalry, contained countless masters who had chosen to stay out of worldly affairs. For 40 years, Xu Xiao had painstakingly nurtured countless eclectic talents in peculiar individuals. At the Tingchao Pavilion, Xu Fengnian was giving a commentary on the palace scenery to White Foxface. He rattled on cheerfully. The Tingchao Pavilion is declared as having six stories, but in fact there are nine floors in total. The lower four floors have external covered walkways, whereas the fifth and sixth floors can serve as observatories. The top floor is empty. There are five dedicated tower sentinels within who are in charge of arranging martial literature. And there's one alcoholic scribe. I learned painting and calligraphy from him. White Foxface remarked blandly. Go get me the Cosmo some series for now, and I'll give you either one of the Niver Sword or the Tony Truss Sword. Xu Fengyan asked in hushed tones, Can I have the Tony Truss Sword? White Foxface did not even flinch. Sure. Xu Fengyan was aghast. You really okay with it? White Foxface replied calmly, there is nothing I won't part with. Xu Fengyan mumbled. You must be all alone and desolate to be able to say that. Since then, White Foxface had stayed in the palace, reading books all day. Once in a while, Xu Fengyan would find him for some chit-chat. For his part, the Grand Consul turned a blind eye and paid no heed to this matter never uttering a word of inquiry. On this day, Yan Shiji, the second son of Ling Province Governor Yan Jieshi, came to visit with the notoriously nasty Li Hanlin from Fengzhou Province. The former was a rare gem of an upright gentleman, although a bit of a lovable pedant. He might be slipshod on trivial matters, but on matters of importance, his thoughts were astute. Master Li, on the other hand, was the epitome of a thuggish bully, delighting in watching humans and beasts locked in combat. What he had going for him, though, was a sleek and handsome countenance. Oh, Feng Yan! As soon as they met, Yan Shiji looked on the verge of tears. Hey, Feng Nian. Li Hanlin's greeting was much more assertive in contrast. The three of them reunited at the Baihe Tower. Outside, a banner read, Acquaintances past set me on my path, while sages lift me to glory. Words penned by Xu Feng Yan when he was eight years old. A whole jug of liquor had been emptied by the time Xu Feng Yan finished recounting his experiences over the past three years. Xu Feng Yan then suggested, Want to ride and head out for a spin? Li Hanlin was the first to take him up on it. Let's go to the Zijin mansion. Oiran Yu had been turning away customers for three years just for you. Xu Fengyan asked. Got money with you? Li Hanlin patted his bulging belly and uttered. I've got it covered. Ready, ready, ready steady, 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 go, go! The trio exclaimed 